in the name of Jesus drought in your life that even when it is physical rainy season it is still dry season spiritually financially and otherwise I decree and declare let the rain begin to fall let the rain begin to fall let the rain begin to fall you welcome to another spirit filled message on christocentric message if you're new to this channel i would entreat you to hit on that subscribe button and then to like this video as well i would want you to share this message across because we believe that as this message is coming forth it's going to bless you your graces are going to be imparted onto you and then god is going to visit your home thank you for watching stay blessed I was talking with one of our people here who had been trusting God, I think for a change of faculty or something. And, um, you know, the guy was discouraged. And then I told him, I said he should meet our daddy prof, you know, just to help him out. And he said, he, I saw him, I think it was just last week or so. And he was telling me, he said, everything is settled though. He said in his presence, they were driving everybody out. But immediately he entered and they saw the signature. They said, come in. Is it prof? Come in. It's called what? Many Canal people think it's not spiritual. You need endorsement. It was John the Baptist. Listen, this is a secret many rising ministers don't know. Somebody who earns the loyalty of the people must speak for you. Otherwise, the gate will not open. The gate will not open. Show me the man speaking for you. Show me who has authorized. Listen, when a man endorses you, he takes his sacrifice and puts it for you to cross with. Many believers lack endorsement. Many businesses lack endorsement. Many individuals lack endorsement. There are many people who would have gotten jobs if only someone can say this and that and that. By the privilege of God's grace that he has granted me, I have endorsed people with just a statement. A one-minute phone call turned them to millionaires. One-minute phone call. Oh, I know this person. I can vouch for him. Help him. Benny Hinn was at almost at a state of financial bankruptcy one time. They were going to cancel the crusade because he did not have enough money. He needed $10 million in three days. $10 million in three days. An anointed man like Benny Hinn, please pay attention. Benny Hinn was, you know, making a program challenging the partners to come. And, you know, when the accounts department, their back office were looking, nobody was really contributing. And the Holy Spirit told him to go and bring Oral Roberts. He carried Ora Robert and brought him. The old man came and sat on air. And they had only three minutes. Can you imagine? Three minutes to the end of the program. Do you know what Ora Robert said? He said, Benny is in need. Please help him. In less than 24 hours, they raised about $15 million. Everybody say endorsement. Don't joke with what I'm telling you. I'm teaching you a powerful mystery that you will need. Promotion many tongue talkers sit down everywhere because they do not do you know why i'm teaching you this i'm going to tell you the responsibility so that when you see a man that can endorse you no sacrifice to maintain the relationship becomes too much because you understand the implication of that person's reputation to your destiny all this unnecessary anger with everybody because you think you are the god of yourself you will stay poor and broke and you will lose in life endorsement 90% of the ministrations that I have gone to by the grace of God have happened through endorsements. One pastor endorsing this. Someone saying, I came for koinonia. Listen to this message. While they are saying that, I'm probably sleeping or gisting with somebody. I pray for someone tonight in the name of Jesus Christ. The voice, the voice. No, any, listen, not every voice can lift you. Not every voice can lift you. The voice that has been accredited is the voice that can lift you. And I pray for you. In the name of Jesus, the Son of the living God, may that voice speak over your life. Yeah. Hallelujah. Men imply the presence of of endorsements and opportunities 
Pastor Alpha called me. I think when was it that? Yesterday, I was in Abuja and he called me and he said, Apostle, do you know anybody who read civil engineering? There is a job right now as we are talking for the person. No interview, no nothing. And all he wanted was who is who is there. I mean, so that we can give him the, I said, Kai, I don't know anybody in my mind. Let's come for Koinonia. After maybe the person is here now. As you are hearing, you are saying, Praise the Lord. And I help you answer hallelujah because that's it, it's done. Someone's life changed overnight. How many people after service they were just going out to trek just like that? And somebody gave them a lift. And while discussing, they said, ah, What do you do, young man? Say, Sir, you know, I'm just moving around. Say, ah, well, how can you be moving around? What are you doing? I'm not doing anything. Come to my office, take this card. And they thought maybe the office looks like just a small fish pond and another building and they enter the office and they say sorry this person and it, it keeps getting access until he gets to the man and he says well i'm the managing director of abc i'm the nigerian representative of this let your life change can men change people's lives <laughs> you, are, you are a big joke Look, let me tell you, some things are not demonic oppression. Some things are childishness, which have been caused by lack of orientation. Sometimes we need sufficient adults to tell us how some things work. You know, all this childishness people carry around. I don't need anybody. You need, oh, you better change that talk quick. I don't need any man. Are you joking? Man, what is man that thou art mindful of? Man is a conveyor of endorsement an opportunity are we together that's why we work at making every service a great experience for everyone because everyone's experience is automatically an endorsement of what we represent I have gotten things without paying for them because of endorsements Brothers and sisters, I'm showing you a simple secret that will change your life forever. The Bible says they know not, neither will they understand. They grow up in darkness and the earth is out of course. People have received partnership in their ministry overnight because of an endorsement i've had the privilege i remember one time a particular pastor somewhere you know I, I don't raise money raise funds and all of that but i went to the church and i you know i saw the project they were doing and when i you know said everything i said by the grace of god um i want everybody to sow a seed for this project just jokingly do you know the pastor would call me like two three weeks later he said in all they have met they have prayed and they have fasted him he was saying Kai, apostle you are really anointed i said no 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 no. in my mind it's not just the anointing it's a track record listen listen don't wait till you create the same track record you, you will you will time time cannot wait for you leverage on someone else's sacrifice The condition that was available to create that track record by another may not be available for you. Are you sharing what I'm saying? I know lecturers, and I say it with all humility, and it doesn't mean you should meet me after the service, but I know lecturers that I have called and said, Sir, please, so, so, so has met me that there is a problem in your department. And this thing is going to affect him. Ah, my apostle, how are you? You are even calling me. And I say, sir, please, I'm not saying you should uh, do anything, but please, sir, can you look into this issue? And the person will just come out and say, I passed, I graduated. It's only me that knows what happened between me and the other person. May someone discuss your rising, even when you are sleeping. That when you are, when you are sleeping, someone is saying, look, do you know Sam? I know how he will rise. Come on now. Listen, those who understand this never get stranded. No, sir. No, sir. No, sir. There has to be somebody to speak. The voice that speaks for you is the ladder that you will use to climb in the destiny of life. 
you don't pay attention to what I'm telling you to be at your peril because someone is receiving already the answer this is how God will bless men in this season that's why I tell you when God says it's a year of triumph believe him it doesn't take time it just takes the right voice speaking for you hallelujah I have entered offices today I have no business entering it because of the endorsement endorsement who has endorsed you man of God I know you are anointed but you are sweating all around with posters flying everywhere and saying please invite me give me 30 minutes out no 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 you don't have to do those gimmicks who around has had the credibility and is willing to endorse you hallelujah I will never forget one one of our ladies when she was preparing to get married when she went to meet her mother her mother said I don't have anything to tell you I don't even know this guy just go and meet apostle whatever apostle says think of it leaving somebody's destiny in my hands I called the mother I said mommy this guy is a very nice guy say apostle you are saying that I said yes from that day there was no challenge again Lord raise somebody to speak for me or raise someone to endorse me raise someone to endorse my business raise some raise someone to endorse my life my destiny there has to be somebody to speak for you listen let me show you that Jesus immediately they gave back to Jesus where did they take him to the temple there were two men that endorsed him are we together immediately they took him one prophetess called Anna had been there praying and fasting she lifted him and began to speak and then Simeon the prophet began to speak when John was among different people when John saw him John said behold the Lamb of God that takes away the sins of the world in the presence of everybody somebody must speak to you in the presence of everybody don't be angry that men are doubting you you have not done anything to bless them why should they not doubt you listen listen let me tell you do you know i say this with all humility there have been people who by the grace of god they started out in ministry and the church was not growing the ministry was grounded and all they needed sometimes they just call and say man of god please so many people listen to your messages in this region you are not here you don't have a branch me i'm here you know i love god and these people never come to my church and then they make arrangements and the day i'm going for those meetings some of those churches don't even have plenty of people but they have multiple overflows those times why because somebody that the people believe in has appeared are you hearing what i'm saying now and then the moment i speak and i'll say oh this is my a, a pastor friend a great man a man of integrity i love him with all my heart and immediately it looks like a one second or five seconds talk but the members just say i found my pastor since i can't come to zaria i found the person that can represent him that's why sometimes people foolishly carry my picture for meetings that i'm not coming they don't care whether i say yes or no they just start producing the posters in advance first because they think it's endorsement sometimes it doesn't work but when you have a man truly who can speak for you brothers and sisters i don't see the witch or the wizard that will tie you ladies have married cheaply because someone recommended them brother i've been praying honestly there's this lady i've been looking ah no 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 this lady is a blessing i tell you if it's this lady you are sure of joy and peace in your life whether in plenty or in luck and the brother says I've, I've, my prayer has been answered a few months later they are married but do you know the same way people's destinies have been cut short somebody was about to rise but a bad talk from someone brought him down they were about to give him a job he said don't give this guy a job he worked with me he's toast meant he, maybe the guy has repented oh do you know Paul had to do this for Onesimus it's in your Bible accept him i know he was once so 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 and so but now just accept him there are people here 
all those who know you knew your yesterday you have repented today you need a fresh voice that will tell people this is not Saul this is now Paul because the, the, the predicament of being Saul is destroying your breakthrough who today must speak and say no 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 this guy was an armed robber but January he repented are you hearing what I'm saying some of us our past will never let us go they know that you used to be around following every man yes that was your past but now you are born again and jesus is lord of your life yet all the people in your life are people who knew you 1997 so the moment they see a responsible godly man come in they call and say kai um you know david Dam, i wouldn't have told you it's just because you are my brother this is not a good choice I command every voice that speaks when you are about to rise. The moment there is consultation among your destiny helpers to, to lift you. There are voices. There are pastors today that should not be begging for bread. Partners wanted to sow into their lives. But somebody said, I saw his poster with A and B's poster. And immediately, over 70 ministrations canceled. Just because somebody recommended you badly. I pray any voice in the name of Jesus that has been speaking evil against your destiny. I silence that voice right now. Shout amen. I silence that voice right now. I silence that voice right now. Please sit down. Sit down. Hallelujah. Cheap victory because a man showed up. Quantum leap because an endorser showed up. There are pastors who their destinies have changed overnight. A man of God they invited somewhere could not make it. And he would just say, please, can you go and stand for me? That was a meeting that their level of grace and experience should not take them there. And they stood there and they did well that day. After the meeting, there are seven or eight pastors. And they say, sir, please, can you come to a, for a meeting? Can you come for a meeting? Etc., etc. There is no meeting, brothers and sisters, that I will go for that afterward, somebody from that meeting will carry the wondrous works of God to another region. This is how we have grown as a ministry. This is how we have grown even financially. The blessing that has come from people. Are we together now? I remember someone one time sowing into the ministry and he said that him... I think he's a critical person he hates men of god many men of god are fake they are not serious but when he listened to my message and his mentor he, he had his mentor whoever that person was listening to my message he just said no we'll be sowing into this ministry every month i tell you every month he sows a seed to koinonia and a seed to my life do i know him i have only communicated with him on text but endorsement don't trivialize what i'm saying endorsement someone you are selling products and you are doing retail whereas a hotel somewhere or whatever needs your product in wholesale but they don't trust you and you will not be given the opportunity to prove your trust you will only be given the opportunity to be trusted based on somebody who already knows you who they believe and someone will say some answer ah, listen if he's a maker eh, i can tell you he will deliver your chickens every time if it does not deliver it, just take it at my risk. And all of a sudden, they will just sign it. And instead of selling one one chicken, somebody will come and say it's two five. You will say we'll give you seven hundred. And all those arguments for hours just to buy one chicken. You will start doing wholesale delivery. Your life has changed. Music artists. How many music artists have been suffering as if God didn't call them? Beautiful voice but no voice to speak for you. Beautiful voice, but no voice to speak. They only invite you if everybody they invited is busy. Then they'll say, sorry, honestly, this program is in three hours. I, are you free? Just come and cover our shape. You need a voice. Say, I need a voice. I need a voice. Say, I need a, I need a man. Yeah, you need the coming of someone in your life to speak for you. What opportunities have you been given? Were you given it or you looked for it by yourself? 
Are you seeing the secret to hardship? Where you have to look for everything by yourself. Who has called you to say there is a big opportunity? I cannot handle it. But here you go. Like whoever is going to get this job now. There are times they've invited me for almost every invitation that we honor. There are a few others we have to turn down. And there are times in my spirit, I have felt led to lift certain people. And I call those people and say, I'm sorry, I can't come. Their heart is paining them. And I say, no, 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 no. But this person cannot call. But I know someone I can recommend for you. Do you believe me? Ah, apostle, we believe you. We have been praying. Okay, invite us so and so. He will bless you. Case closed. I don't want my life to be hard though. The Bible said the way of the fool is hard. Wisdom. That voice that must speak in my life. This has been my prayer. I'm sharing with you my secret prayer. Lord, who is the person? Everybody is buying land. They say there is no land. It's a lie. It's just that all the important people have bought it. The day you come, they'll say, please. So, so said they should give him land. I've shared a testimony here that I heard years ago. Um, and I'll reiterate it very quickly. Someone who wanted to, um, I think, get admission in NDA. And then the, the required height level. The person did not have that required height level. And, you know, military people, they are very serious. Well, that's it. He returned back to Zaria and then met the Emir. And the Emir sent that they should go and tell the commandant. They should go and tell the man that the Emir has added the height of the person. Mm. Who is adding your height in this wicked world? Listen, this our world is fierce and wicked. Who is adding your height? When people stand and conspire, we must destroy Benga. We must make sure he does not rise. Who is the voice authorized to stand and say, no, not this. I will show you why doors don't open. Because the truth is, I want to admit this with all humility. Many of us are already prepared for the next level. But we don't know the endorsement is the key that we need. The truth is, if it's music artists, God has honored this ministry with great people. If it's intellectuals, there are some of you seated right now. One endorsement. I remember a gentleman who came here um, some time ago, a medical doctor. And he discovered um, something. He, was, he got the patent for um, reproduction of something to reproduce a particular device that can check. I think it can check your heartbeat and whatever without taking blood from your body very smart guy he came here and i told him i said please go and meet our daddy so that they will connect him with professor knock and like that and i think so on and so on like that like that we've not seen the guy again i want to believe that god has lifted him and i pray that it is so i made up my mind that every voice that must speak into my life whatever price it will take i will pay to secure the endorsement of that voice it's not human worship hallelujah or a robot help benny he's in trouble and all of a sudden somebody's prayer point becomes a gift hallelujah there are men of god who just do you know there are certain stages, even ministerially speaking sincerely, if God grants you the privilege and the access to stand on that stage, as far as ministry is concerned, God has helped you. There are certain individuals, if God has given you the privilege to see, God has changed your life. Endorsements, opportunities. Number three, what is the implication of the presence of men? In our lives number three what is the implication of the presence of men in our lives access to financial and material resources write it down access to financial and material resources part of the fringe benefits of the coming of a man into your life access to financial and material resources Listen, listen. 
every one naira every material resource you pray for is currently in the hands of a human being right now praise the lord every land koinonia will ever buy in any nation of the world is currently in the possession of somebody now every transfer that you have been fasting for into your account there is an entity holding it now like this the money for your house is in somebody's account so when you start building a house it will not fall from heaven transfer will be made transfer will be made transfer will be made human beings there are human beings that are generous enough to change your life listen koinonia hear me it is a false understanding to believe everybody is greedy there are absolutely benevolent human beings your own price is to win their heart you can go to bed hallelujah and lot went with him he didn't say and lot believed what he believed lot just walked with him hallelujah do you know that someone was sharing a testimony somewhere uh i think it was a lady or so that was sharing a testimony somebody she knows they were walking along a path a road and then the person was quite a senior man and then he met a very big man and he was greeting the man and whilst he greeted the man he gave the man you know the person she was working with now that stranger rich stranger gave some money and looked at her and said ah young lady he decided to give her something too just like he was not even counting she said when she counted it she found that it was 50,000 just because she was working with who think of think of your prayer point disappearing simply because you are working with the wrong person it's the same way you can be working with somebody and you check and find out ah, i left my house with five hundred thousand. now i have twelve thousand. what happened the presence of someone took something away from you access to financial resources your money is in the hands of men please believe me your money is not just in the hands of business you can sell anything you want to sell it's a human being that will have to buy it for you to be paid men can bless you for no reason you must believe this dimension exists that a man can just bless you i've had the privilege of blessing people in a lavish and a generous way for no reason i don't even know some of them hallelujah let me share a testimony that will bless you i share these testimonies to encourage our faith I came back from Abuja this just this evening, just coming here now. And um, yesterday in the night, I decided to take a cab just to go and get something to eat before returning to sleep. And while I got there, my, my elder sister came to give me a surprise visit and we chatted for a while and then, you know, saw her off. Uh, on my way returning, I asked the man, I said, how much is your bill? Probably because the man saw me buying things for my sister and the rest. Ah, the guy said, oh, guy, anything you give me. I said, no, no, please don't tell me all those things. Just, you, you are working. You are working with intelligence. What exactly, how much is your money? And then he mentioned, okay, X amount. He said, oh, guy, you know, I told you I have three children. Because I asked him. I said, oh, you have children. How many children? He said, three. I said, you're a hardworking man. You know, we're talking on the way coming. I said, I like you. You're a diligent man, striving to make sure you provide for your family. And then when he asked me how much, I said, no, but you know that's not the price. So how much is the last price? Then he now told me the truth. He reduced it by some amount. And the Holy Spirit ministered to me. He said I should take whatever was in my pocket, everything, everything that was in my pocket. I don't know how much, but it was, it was nothing less than 25000 He said, take everything and give the man. As soon as I draw from the car, I said, Mr. Man, you do not know me, but go and tell your lovely children that you met a man who decided to bless them make sure you take care i removed everything i dropped it the man was afraid ah this is i hope this is not blood money and etc 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 i just dropped it and said okay this is where i'm highlighting god bless you until i entered the man was shocked that's the kind of experience that is i didn't know you will answer me this way
there are such occurrences on earth i'm giving you an example that somebody's prayer now it may look like it's 20 or 25,000 or whatever i know it looks small to some of you but that's the same way it can be 200 and something million the same way it is that trivial the same way it was there are obedient people let me tell you there are people who pack out of their house and give you if god said it but if they have not had god you can be dying they will look at you like this there are people who the voice of god is their trigger but to get that voice of god you have to invoke this and say oh god let let send this man this man has what it takes to wipe my tears financial and material privileges accessed sim not through intelligence and business acumen through the understanding that men can do this i started doing something some time ago i don't do it again when i go to get fuel whoever is before me no matter how much he wants to fill his tank i pay for it i just said i'll do it as a seat if i go to get fuel and you happen to be before me whether it's a bucket you are carrying as long as it's within my capacity i will sow into and i've done that and i watch the joy that it, it, it produces in the life of people watch this one time i i remember i think it was one of this was it salah or something like that a, a, party, a man came and I saw him bring out 200 naira. Ah, the wife was at the back of the bike. Just, he even just put one leg down and opened that this thing. Just, it's as if you just press the thing and take it back. How much with 200 naira fuel? And I looked at him. I said, please fill the tank for him. The man just turned. I was greeting him. I said, fill the tank. When he finished, I just waved. I said, madam, bye-bye. You know, this and that and that. And the man just looked at me. Do you know why I'm doing this? One, because I love God. Two, I am activating the same thing because that's what I want in my own life. I want a situation where one day somebody says, Joshua Selman, I hear you need a house. This, I hear you need five acres of land for koinonia. Take. I hear you need joy and peace. I believe it. Oh, if you like, don't believe it. I believe it with all my heart. It's not laziness. It's a provision that is in the kingdom. How many people have gotten free house they are not in ministry one day somebody just said come and escort me and they are sharing houses and you just got your own and left quietly and ran out of the town just quietly got a lawyer and said sign this it's called prepared blessings prepared blessings prepared blessings that's what God is getting ready to bring for us in this season prepared blessings where you will wake up in the morning with a text and you check the text and all of a sudden a man sends you a text wanting nothing in return i'm not talking of bribe look at this many of our parents some of you know that i'm telling the truth they are brilliant according to their level of sacrifice they should be working at the the highest echelon of the government but today nobody can speak for them there are many people who should be legislators doing very well nobody's speaking for them there are buildings houses that should be completed but there is no help because you start on your own you are receiving twenty thousand naira every month but you know one day you can just be passing and somebody will just look and say once in a while we just want to bless people and it just happens to be you dr mike mudok shared it a story one time how that i think it was his dad of blessed memory or mom they performed a surgery and it was about twenty five thousand dollars the people had exhausted all their monies and you know the hospital just called them and said once in a while we like to do good things to people just like charity and it happens to be you i was told about a woman of god in abuja today that went to a particular place and saw um it's like their chapel devastated she brought out eight million cash and say they should rebuild a house for God from scratch up. I know a man of God in this country. Well, not a man of God, but a rich man. The pastor had been shouting, we need a tent. All of you so we need a tent. We need a tent. Let's beautify the house of God. The rich man just kept quiet as if he doesn't know what they're saying. One day, the guy got up and bought a tent, 25 million cash. They brought it. I'm mentioning these big amounts for a reason. I want to stretch your mind because some of you will never believe it. If you like, say I'm talking about money, no problem. I know you don't need it. 
but your destiny needs it <clears throat> so you better pay attention in the name of jesus connection with men who can help you do you know sometimes all you need in life is just help you don't need advice you don't need suggestion sometimes all you need uh, you don't need help like spiritual help the direct need if you need a watch just sometimes case closed just that watch sometimes what you need is financial help when Ruth listen when Ruth and Naomi when Naomi stood and was confused did not know what to do and Ruth said I'm not going anywhere with you do you know a time came when she went to the field and she saw them gleaning and Boaz said leave some what did she do just leave some there are there are blessings you will enter into this year that you too you will know that this one no is not me is purely the sovereignty of God and I stand in the name of Jesus Christ I prophesy it upon you as surely as the Lord God of heaven lives may that come to you speedily may that come to you speedily everybody shout prepared blessings say it again prepared blessings it, it, it is true it happens where somebody just steps in and solves your problem directly I share with you a testimony those who just got admission in the school of ministry congratulations but you will notice that a supplementary list came out it's not in our culture to release a supplementary list are we together now someone spoke for the students a voice that I honor that we honor I supervised the supplementary list by myself there were three people that I honor with every esteem in my life and when three of them called me I said no 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 I'm under authority too bring all the forms of the students who did not get the admission you, you were just sitting in your house and you saw an alert and they said congratulations but someone spoke for you why has it stopped why should it not continue in other areas of your life that somebody will speak for you you are just sitting you see an alert with a phone number and you call and say who are you you say we were discussing and someone mentioned your name it has happened to me it happens all the time pray one minute and say lord help us financial help us please ignore people who think you're wasting your time pray this prayer with faith lord son help us the house of god needs help us my family needs the ministry of helpers. All I need at this point in my life is a genuine helper. No string attached. No thank you for investment. But what I need now is not an investment. I need a helper. Helper, my family is about packing up. I need a helper. Please don't joke. This is your destiny. This is a kingdom secret that can wipe your tears. I cry for a helper. The gift of men. He gave gifts unto men. He gave gifts unto men to the end that they be established. He gave gifts to men to the end that they be helped. In the time of recession, he is still giving gifts to men. In the time of lack and want. Oh, I believe, I believe, I believe, I believe. Jesus, this is someone's breakthrough tonight. I believe, I believe, I believe. Who said the medical bills must be paid through salary? Who said the helper cannot arise and wipe it? Who said the roofing of the house must be done by your savings? Hallelujah. 
Hallelujah. Please sit down. I tell you, my spirit is stirred with what I'm telling you. Many of you will thank me. You will see your lives change overnight. Don't mind people who think what I'm sharing with you is not making sense. I show you what can change your life. Brothers and sisters, is one of the biggest secrets of this work you see by the grace of God. There are few things in this ministry, let me tell you, there are few things in this ministry, few things in this ministry that are actively being paid for from the central house. Every week, every time, there is somebody rising to handle something. When we used to use other venues, there are people who just arise and say, look, I will pay for the venue. I will pay for this. How much does it cost to transport people all through after service? I will pay for it. Don't think it's everybody who must say, what will I get in return? There are people, whatever you want to give them, God has given them already. They don't need anything. They just want to bless you. What is man that thou art mindful of? Number four. What is the implication of the presence of men in your life? I call it impartation, access to impartation and the prophetic. Access to impartation and the prophetic. Why do you need men in your life? Their presence can guarantee you access to impartation. What is impartation? Transference of grace for possibilities. Transference of grace for possibilities. Men move according to the kinds and the dimensions of graces at work in them. No matter how you cry for God to anoint you, if you ignore men, you will never. Do you know, look at me. Some of you, all you need in your life it's just that prophetic push. Prophetic push. Bishop Oyedeko said every time they are busy celebrating winners and saying, wow, this is how the ministry has risen. They will just go to Papa Ia Deboe and they will just lay hands on him and say, you have seen well, but a new level. And that's the end of it. Prophetic push is capital. It can bless your life. It can wipe your tears one prophetic word i've shared with you countless testimonies here to the glory of god maybe i'll just review one or two remember the story i told you about the two women i went to buy sugar cane and two mama old women old women i'm not sure they could even speak english and they were trying to remove they were trying to uh, um what they call it Yes, to remove the wrapper so that they remove the small money to pay for sugar cane. And I said, uh -uh, I may not have much, but come on, these are my mothers. Let me bless them. And I just bought the sugar cane. I don't think I spent up to 100 naira. I can't remember how much exactly. And those women were so touched. They were blessing me and blessing me. And one of them said, my son forever walk upon gold. How can a woman who is trying to remove five naira, she knew what she carried on her head. Listen. Don't wait for people's physical result to believe they have it. You will be joking. You may see a man with 10 members, but he, must have, he can have a kingmaker anointing. He can anoint you and you have a stadium full of membership. If all you are looking for is someone else's result, no. Some results are not meant to appear physically. They are meant to be transferred and reflected in the life of another. It's called a kingmaker anointing. They never become kings themselves. Yet they are the ones who anoint and throne and dethrone kings. Those of you who have kings in your village, you know there are people who sit down with the kings. They are called kingmakers. They never become kings themselves. Yet they are the ones who consecrate kings. Saul never became a king himself. But he was the one who made kings. And he was the one through God who rejected kings. Let me tell you. There are people who carry graces. They may not physically look like it. They may not be millionaires, but they never lack. 
put that to shame God will always arise that's a grace you need because all you need in life is not just money Bishop Oedeko calls it the grace of on time when things come too late they can kill you they should come on time how he got that anointing he said he was a particular man of God I don't know if it was Archbishop Benson Idahosa or whoever it was who he, you know sent him on errand sent to Edeko on errand then when he was just starting and to show up at a particular time and the person showed up fast and, and Edeko showed up fast and then the man looked at him and said ah you mean you came at the time he said from today I impart upon you the grace of on time before a need arises the supply comes there is such a grace now you may see people move they are not millionaires but they they carry that possibility the moment shame is about to come something must happen to change that result it's a grace impartation by god's grace we have lavishly received impartations in this place impartation I have received impartations i'm like a bee i'm a product of strange graces jesus himself being the chiefest of them all but there are human vessels there are men who have entered my life and just wiped my tears in certain areas impartation and then a prophetic push i told you prophecy is both revelatory and creative the more superior dimension of prophecy is the creative dimension revelatory dimension gives you faith and direction but when you get to the end of your road you need the creative dimension of prophecy where someone can look at your life and say look physically speaking there is no hope but in the name of jesus i introduce a reality an equation into your life i was teaching in in, in akure and i told them the anointing is the, is an advantage it's an advantage it's an advantage it's an advantage prophecy this ministry you see there are constant prophecies being bombarded on our heads prophecy prophecy Where is the prophetic voice pushing you to the next level? Where is the prophetic voice? That's why every time I minister here, I pray and I speak over your life from the depth of my heart. It's not just copy men of God. I understand the power of the prophetic. Second Chronicles 20:20. 20, 20. It says, "Believe in the Lord your God, so shall he be established." Then it says, "Believe his prophets." so shall you prosper in other words don't believe them and what happens to you it says and by a prophet the lord brought israel out of egypt and by a prophet were they preserved the prophetic is real not just calling names and numbers but the ability to speak realities into being taking an advantage of this mystery the capacity to create things because everything that appears comes from the unseen realm so a man can program your destiny through prophecy like an alarm clock you can program an alarm clock to ring at a time you see that you program an alarm clock 327 and the clock will be quiet as if it's dead 327 on the dot that's how a man's destiny can be programmed a man can shift a breakthrough that should happen when you are 49 to happen when you are 25 prophecy prophecy can shift possibilities to and fro you must understand this by this time tomorrow elisha said he didn't say god told me by this time tomorrow when he met the shunammite woman he said what should i do to you should i talk to the king he said no no i live among my own people what should i he said well we don't have a child hear what he said he placed a time that's one of the ministry of the prophetic is to place a time for your miracle because the clock must ring he said to appoint unto them that morning zion to appoint so something that would have happened next year they take it and make it happen next week it's a superior dimension of the prophetic 
a woman who will be coming here i'm sure one of these days to share her testimony she sent a testimony that touched me now this is not the first time we're getting these testimonies but they are very powerful i don't have time to look for it in my phone but i will tell you she said i think we're in a program i don't know which of the meetings now whether in yola or whatever yes they were part of those who uh, were in the welfare cooking cooking for us and i always pray for all those who cook those who drive me and cook for me every time i go for any meeting now i prayed for the woman and according to her she said i told her that what do you want and she said she wanted twins and she said it jokingly and i said in the name of jesus may the lord give you twins nothing really happened she got pregnant two weeks after that time that's the first news this is a woman that had been barren and but when they checked her there was only one child glory be to god that's all right at least i'm happy that i'm pregnant now and she said just like um i think maybe a month ago they went back to check and they were twins twins right there you see that she sent me a text actually because she started having some little pain like birth pains and they were saying most likely they will use cs so she shared that testimony and she was trying to encourage me to pray for her so she can give birth you know safely and then come and testify the creative dimension of prophecy that can place realities children just come through a man they come from god the moment mary said be it unto me she was pregnant it's just the body of the child and the genetics that come through the man children are a heritage from the lord he said when he led captivity captive he gave gifts to men the question i want to ask you tonight before we pray is have you received your own because the bible says that he gave those gifts to the end that we attain a level you have not attained that level meaning you have not received those gifts have you received the strategies the ideas the wisdom have you received the endorsements accreditations hmm. have you received financial and material resources i'm speaking to somebody from the depth of my heart there are testimonies i can begin to share with you now but if I say some of these testimonies that they are not, it's not even safe for some of us because it may just push you through seasons you are not ready for. But brothers and sisters, let me tell you the truth. Anybody that tells you that God cannot fast track the life of a man is he joking. Look at my life. Look at my life. I've heard of testimonies of people. In this recession, people have arisen and done things you cannot imagine one of the gifts that god has given me in my life i draw me to the leaders and the workers all the time is the gift of men the gift of men is greater than money the gift of men is greater than money there are some things money cannot do are we together listen if you labor on to death i've given this example here you labor on to death and you get five naira and somebody walks up and gives me five naira. Are, are five naira is the same? No. Your sweat and your life was drained for that five naira. It's, it's called the mystery of hardship. When you work for everything, you know we encourage diligence here. But your lifetime is not enough for you to get every result by working. You need an advantage. And that advantage is shrouded in men. Not oil. Not real estate. Not banking. Men. men who have you ignored in your life whose voice must speak for you in this season it's not that there are no jobs there are people getting jobs every time just like someone is about to get one now but who is speaking for you oh there are no contracts please keep quiet don't say there are no contracts with 7.2 billion people on earth are you joking there are no contracts there is no contract for you but there's contract but a voice can make it for you come and do a miracle a miracle today you will do 
trouble hear me who speaks for you there are some of us it's not all about money when you get into trouble who speaks for you there are some of us if things don't work out in our lives we are dead there's nobody to arise and speak for you the bible says valiant men came to david they entered a covenant that they must make him king who is ready to die to see that your cause you criticize a man of god and there's nobody to back him no sir there should be somebody no 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 no. don't say this against pastor femi i love him are we together they just said they had some money in your office you are about to be thrown out you are in trouble and you are innocent just because you are working in the accounts department they are about to jail you in the prison in the in the police station there's nobody to speak for you before the law court nobody to speak for you they are about to throw you in nobody to speak for you Hapa. that's a life with no favor that every time trouble arises somebody will come and say look ordinarily speaking you are supposed to do a and b and c to a mecca but i come in have you seen people who when they are fighting they come and stand and say don't beat this person it's better to beat me who can cover you like that politicians call them godfather god whatever brothers and sisters we have ignored this to our detriment one of the blessings god has given me in my life is not just divine immunity and protection god has raised men i can tell you this men who will stand and they won't mind blood coming out of their bodies to make sure they protect my interests and what we represent and i do not take them for granted but i am grateful I have been shocked. A man of God somewhere once said something that was not too nice about me. And I mean, that person, I, I didn't even know. It was when he apologized. More than 100 people called him, blasted nonsense out of his life. I said, God will punish you and punish you and join and punish you. You mix every, the baby and the bad water and think everybody. It was something that was trying to show maybe like all these men, those, you, you know, you know what I mean now. Maybe if somebody put his hand in something that is ungodly, time shall tell. You know those kind of sarcastic statements. And my goodness. And I'm not talking of young people, married women, the person will say his testimony and blast the man and say, are you stupid? The man sent me a text. He thought I knew about it, honestly speaking. It was when I got it. I said, no, 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 no. No offense. I don't have what. Why, why? I mean, I don't keep any offense. What for? Can you have people like that? There are men who can arise to cover your shame. Just because they know you, they will arise and say, no, 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 no. I will cover your shame for you. We have some prayers to pray this night. If our parents had this, they would not be struggling like this. Because every other person who has risen has exactly what they have. Educationally, whatever it is. No help. No help. No help. You work hard, you go to school, almost as if you would die, you graduate and your, your certificate becomes like a toilet tissue nobody to speak on it the only thing there is the registrar's signature and life will look at you and say no i need another signature come on this is this is this is too regular show me another one you are praying and fasting but you need to start praying strategically don't just pray and say lord send angels yes angels are important but you need a physical entity moved by those angels there was a particular time they were going to this paul was afraid of entering a city and god said no no don't be afraid i have many people there nobody will touch you i have many people many men there i'm tired of the status quo there's gotta be more than this i'm tired of the status quo there's gotta be more than this. There's gotta be more, gotta be more. There's gotta be more than this. There's gotta be more, gotta be more. There's gotta be more than this. Listen, 
one of these four things will become your prayer point i'm going to give us 10 minutes and i will not interrupt you 10 minutes alone with god you know what aspect the bible says he gave gifts unto men ask god lord where is my own where is my own gift where is the man you have sent with the financial blessing where is the man you have sent oh god with the prophecy for my next level where is the man you have sent with the idea where is the man to endorse my life my ministry 10 minutes please i don't know how you will pray but the next 10 minutes instrumentalists help us cry before the god of heaven and say lord i want to receive my own gift you are giving gifts to men Manda caparato sobre da capa. This is a real triumph. Triumph. Do the of men. Spiritual exploits. Do the ministry of men. Overnight, overnight. If you have never believed a man of God in your life, can't you just believe for once? Doesn't your spirit bear witness that this is the key to what brought you here? Man, an advocate. Man. 
listen listen he said they are taken for a prey but none say it restore they capture you but there is no man to shout restore prayer point number one oh god whoever holds the strategy the wisdom the idea that i need to experience triumph i open the gates of my spirit and i receive them as gifts go ahead and pray the gift the gift of wisdom the gift of understanding the gift of strategies business strategies through men ministry strategies through men one man can change your company one man can change your business one man can link you up with what 10 years has not been able to give you one man can open up the gates of ministry Send that man, oh God. Send that woman, oh God. Send that man, oh God. Send that woman, oh God. I open the gates of my spirit. 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 I receive them as gifts. One man, one man, the difference between you and the next level. Prayer point number two, listen. Father, I have the talent. I am ready for the next level, but there is no ladder to climb. The voice that must endorse me for the next level, I call you by prophecy. Lift your voice and pray. The voice endorsing my papers. The voice endorsing my products. The voice endorsing my services. The voice endorsing the hand of God on my life. I call you in the name of Jesus. Prophesy, prophesy. Prophesy. It's time to rise. Somebody somewhere has what it takes to speak for you. Somebody somewhere has what it takes to speak for you. Call them. Call them Koinonia. Call them. Call them for your family. Call them for your life. The man to endorse your marriage. The man to endorse access to the man of God who carries the grace you need. The man to endorse your business the man to endorse your employment Lord, I'm a master's holder. I'm ready for the job. I need an endorser. I'm a PhD holder. I'm a graduate. I need an endorser. Lord, I'm a businessman. I have paid my price. I have done my homework. I need a voice. A voice to speak at the gate. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Listen, let me tell you something. If you are a parent here, yeah, everything you pay, you pray for yourself, pray for your children, whether they are in your womb 
or they are everywhere. I hear what I'm saying. If you're a lady here as you pray, you lay your hands on your wood. You don't wait till you get married. Come on. John was filled with the Holy Ghost in his water's womb. You can speak favor to be waiting for that, 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 that child formed in favor. Prayer point number three. You are going to cry. Now listen, listen, listen. I told you there is the sovereign dimension of God's will. You are going to cry for help. Help. Don't cry for money. Lord, a helper can come. I call him to my life. Lift your voice and pray. A helper. A helper. Are you praying? A helper. A helper. A helper. It can be this difficult. It can be this difficult. It can be this difficult. Bring a helper to make my life easy, oh God. So that I can have the time to serve you. So that I can have the concentration to focus on my assignment. Lord, I'm tired of financial distractions. Lord, I'm tired of material destruction. Send a helper to clear the way that I can serve you. Send a helper. Are you praying? Are you praying? Don't look around. Pray. A helper must show up. A helper must show up. A helper must show up. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The last prayer point. Kai, I tell you, I'm, 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 I, I feel the joy in my spirit for the prayers we are praying. I know this prayer is doing something in the realm of the spirit. The last prayer point. I want you to pray this with all your heart. You are going to cry and say, Lord, the prophetic push. That one you can have it this night, right now. That one is available for you. Is up for you to receive. You are going to pray and say, Lord, the prophetic push, that push I need, that impartation, that prophetic push for my ministry, for my life, for my family. Lord, my family is in hellfire. We must come out this night. Lift your voice and pray. Pray outside, pray online, pray. Wherever you're connecting from any nation of the world, pray, pray. Pray your way to a new level. Pray your way to a new dimension. Pray your way. Shakata kata. Reko to 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 peke peke te. Reko sopo to to bas. Ebra kata naka to peke te. Reko se peke te 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 te. Neke te 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 bos kapari kata. Shapa to 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 peke te 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 te. Reko to sopo peke te 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 te. Pray. Hallelujah. Listen. Never forget this kingdom key. It's a mystery that has been responsible for the, the mysterious rising of stars. No father, no mother, notwithstanding, they rose. No education, no experience, notwithstanding, they rose. Come on now. Life delayed and battered. 
the enemy ate a major part of their life but in one year they recovered through men through men never forget this he gave gifts to men he gave gifts to men man of god i'm 45 years i've wasted my life don't worry one man one man can step into your life and answer the question of 10 years man of god my business is grounded listen listen do you know while the lord asked me to prepare for this message i was watching channels tv and i saw how that Eric l was about to pack up because they were in debt it was so much and imagine a big one of the biggest airlines in the country i love them of course I know that there are people who work there who might be listening right now. And for me, I felt so sad because I know how our administration depends on that airline alone. There are places only them can go. And I started thinking, I said, my God, that means there has to be another plan. And the only other plan can be chartered services. And all of a sudden, I just had that Amcon representing the federal government said they are too they are too important to let them crash and they said we're coming to wage you i said this is my message this is my message the federal government how many airlines i don't want to mention names have crashed in our presence federal government waved them and said you, you are in debt but that a man is almost falling and then a hand picks him you are too valuable to fall so i help you listen so you are making a mistake and you are about to die you don't even know what kingdom key then god wakes somebody to start interceding for you because you are too valuable before you catch the revelation someone else is already praying for you lift your hands i want to pray honestly god sees my heart and god knows that i'm praying this prayer from the depth of my heart don't worry whether you are standing or not just a sign of faith i want to pray for you the lord has declared that is this year of triumph let's not make him look like a liar you've heard the testimonies of people hallelujah in the name of jesus christ the sovereign lord the one who orchestrated this message i pray for you prophecy number one is that in the name of jesus the son of the living god beginning from this night a man everybody one by one a man must show up in your destiny a man must show up in your destiny hallelujah prayer point number two paul said once and again i desire to come to you but satan hindered us satan hinders men there are some of you God answered your prayer since last year but there is a spirit somewhere sitting on your breakthrough in the name of Jesus I'm, I'm prophesying I'm just speaking in tongues in the name of Jesus every force sitting on your gate to make it not open for your helpers I cast those forces out of your life I cast those forces out of your life I cast those forces out of your life listen whether it's an activity of witchcraft an activity of causes projections of men in their anger the scourging tongues of men to cause the constellations to fight you in the name of Jesus Christ who died and rose again I command your gates open I command your gates open I break the power of divination I break yokes and curses I break the power of divination when Jesus got to the grave of Lazarus others were crying 
but they did not know even in the grave if a man comes resurrection can happen the grave was there waiting for a man when jesus came he said ah uh -uh, hold on lazarus only the voice of a man could call another man not the voice of an animal the voice of a man and he said lazarus come for come for come for i want to call some things i want to call some things back they left you but they are not missing they are still on earth they left you but hear me they are not missing in the name of jesus christ i prophesy whatever has left your life whatever has left your hands money that you lost business that you lost relationships opportunities i prophesy restoration now restoration now restoration now listen listen i don't care what happened i i don't want to know the story behind it in the name of jesus christ even if it's a body parts that disappeared i call a new one now whatever is the works of your hands that for some reason you do your best but it's like it cannot break through some levels there are people here who are business people there are people here who are working and they've been in the same position forever there are people who don't just move forward in the name of jesus whatever has tied your feet so that there is no speed in your life i command supernatural speed right now supernatural speed right now supernatural speed right now hallelujah was he pray listen there are men being influenced by demons to stop the moment the god the spirit of god is moving the will of a man to your favor they show up just like a man shows up they show up and they impart fear there are people who would have done your business but just when they wanted to put money somebody said be careful oh and they went away there are people who would have bought your product in box but someone showed up and said do you really need it in the name of jesus whoever is stopping men from blessing you whoever is being used by demon spirits to stop men from blessing you i silence their voices right now i silence their voices right now every council of ahitophel speaking in dark places against the people of god i reverse their pronouncements right now hallelujah last prayer point and jesus grew in stature in wisdom in stature and in favor with god you can have favor with god and not have favor with men i want to speak favor we must attack hardship and do you know listen listen by now you know but do you know why we do these things because we want to concentrate on doing the work of the kingdom these things are distractions thinking about money is a distraction thinking about all these all these jargons you can't pray you spend three hours you are not praying for souls you are praying out of against trouble it's a distraction you can't have the peace to plan your family well because you sit down and there's tension everywhere why because of all kinds of issues in the name of jesus i pray May a fresh mantle of favor, a mantle of favor, a real solid mantle of favor, may it land upon your life right now. Favor with men, favor with men, receive it in the name of Jesus. Favor with men, I place it upon your life. Favor with men, favor with strangers, 
favor with men favor with strangers favor with diplomats favor with men of God favor with politicians favor with business people in the name of Jesus listen every time a man is looking for someone to bless may you show up there suddenly in the name of Jesus Christ anytime they are discussing someone to lift may the angel of the Lord introduce your name hallelujah the angel saluted Mary and said hail Mary thou art favored among all women and she wondered what manner of salutation is this these are the forces that produce certain strange levels of breakthrough tomorrow you will turn and see that things are working for you and people say how did you do it you are no more qualified than me your father is nobody in the society and you tell them I understood that there is something called the gift of men the gift of men the gift of men the gift of men in your life and it will change your life Lord Jesus we thank you for tonight Lord I have declared your word to your people in the name of Jesus let there be a strange performance we release angels to compel the men that we have called by prophecy because some of them have stubborn wheels but we compel them by the ministry of angels and we decree and declare that they must show up for every life, business, destiny and ministry in the name of Jesus may your life from tonight receive a quantum leap may you have a testimony that will end worry from your life forever And let me just use one minute and extend this prayer to our worrying families because some of our family members they are almost depressed to death the yoke on their head is too much it's as if they are carrying the whole world there are bills here there's trouble here there's court case here there is police case here there is the, nobody to help them lord jesus we pray anyone standing here may you represent your family right now as i pray in the name of Jesus Christ using you as a prophetic point of contact I pray for your loved ones the same thing God is doing here may he reproduce it to them every impossible situation in any family right now that looks like it defies solution this night may a helper qualified to help arise and help if it's a financial problem, may a helper arise to help. If it's a marital and family problem, may a stranger arise and help. In the name of Jesus Christ. If it's a spiritual problem, may a man with an anointing appear and help. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen and amen. Keep standing everyone. There are people here right now this night inside outside please keep standing everyone you've heard everything i've said tonight and you know that this concerns you the greatest man that needs to show up in your life is the man jesus the bible calls him the man jesus jesus the man he says come on to me he was not speaking as a ghost a man come on to me right behold i stand at the door of your heart and i knock there are men and women here right now hearing me and thousands following online you've not made your way right with jesus things are not all right when you are not right with jesus any other thing is just temporary he is the chief man they call him the fourth man in the fire when he entered the fire that was the end of it he must enter into your life the greatest rebellion is to willfully reject Jesus. 
There are people inside and outside. Some of you at one point or the other, you made a decision. But sincerely this night, as you've heard us pray, as you've heard me teach, the Holy Spirit has been pricking your heart to say, look, you need to make things right with Jesus Christ. You need to receive him like you receive a gift. You've been around him, but you've not received him. Or you have received him and for some reason things have gone haywire. And you're saying, man of God, if you would pray for me, I would not be ashamed to come out. Wherever you, you are, we have two, three minutes for you. Any of the overflows inside, outside there, please don't be ashamed. Don't wait for anyone. He's the man that must show up in your life. Wherever you are, as they begin to clap for them, please make your way to the front. You're rededicating your life. You're giving your heart to Jesus. You are welcome. Quickly, please. Quickly. There are people God is speaking to. Don't wait for anybody to come out. You are the first person. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. Nasa Hanuna Hakan Kekenoma Nina Yesune Bazankoma Bazankoma Keep coming. Hurry up. Keep coming. Hallelujah. Please keep coming. Let's celebrate them as they come. If there are still people outside, make your way. Don't say it's too far. Make your way. Let that man step into your life. The man Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you so much for coming. Some of you are giving your heart to the Lord seriously for the first time. And others, you are rededicating your life, everything. Doesn't matter what category. I love you and I honor you for this bold decision. I just want you to pray this prayer after me from the depth of your heart. Don't pray it as a recitation. Pray it sincerely as a prayer that can change your life. Are we together? Say after me, Lord Jesus. Say it, Lord Jesus. I love you with all my heart. And I believe that you are the son of God. Tonight, I invite you I welcome you as that man that will change my life. Please change my life. I receive your life in exchange for mine. And I declare that from tonight, I am saved. I'm a child of God. The life of God is in me. My past is gone forever. And he gives me a new beginning. In the name of Jesus. Let me pray for you. Father, thank you for these ones. I love them from the depth of my heart. Jesus, you are the man they have received right now. Please change their lives. Let it not be an emotional decision. Men have prophetic implications. You left this earth bodily. The man, Jesus. We pray in the name of your son. Father, grant that their lives be changed forever. In the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Heavenly Father. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen and amen. I'd like you to follow the gentleman waving his hands. And um, they would have your details. And then we'll follow up on you um, more personally. The Lord bless you and the Lord honor you. In Jesus' name. Dearly beloved, I hope you were blessed by this message. Do not keep the video to yourself. Share to as many as you can to help them bless. Check our homepage for more of our messages, subscribe to the channel, comment on it, like it. See you on our next video. Bye. Pray. Pray. Pray for your destiny. The phase of development. Lord, grant me the discipline.